Hey guys, I thought I'd just make a quick video on how to replace an HDD with an SSD on the Inspiron 15R Special Edition. Hope you like it. Uh, as you can see, all you're going to need is a screwdriver. Uh, you're going to have to remove these four screws to remove this sp specific plastic lid. And once you do this, is what you're going to see. This right here is actually the HDD you're going to remove. And you're going to see this black tab at the end there. You can just go ahead and lift that up shouldn't be a problem once you do you're gonna have to go ahead and remove the screws make sure you get all of them I forgot a few there alright once you remove them you should be able to take the back end and pull it out make sure you pull it from the side and not directly up and right here you can see the SSD on top of the HDD which are very similar uh, right here is the bay drive bay with the screws that I'm about to remove and this is when I changed screwdrivers because it was impossible to change it with my other one alright once you do that you go ahead slide in the SSD and screw it in it should fit perfectly and this is how it should be you go ahead and slide it in make sure you don't shove it in improperly it's gotta just slide in there pretty easily alright once you do, just go ahead and screw everything in and put the plastic part on top. And make sure it goes in properly from the corner and on the sides before you put in the screws because otherwise you might break it off and it might be loose. But just make sure that it goes in properly and it should be all set. And once you put it up, go to the BIOS. You should see the SSD being detected from there. Now I'm booting up from a USB, so I'm going to go ahead and change the boot order. You press F2, it should go to the boot tab, change the order. The first one should be the HDD, go ahead and put USB storage device as the first one. Once you do, uh, the OS on the USB should boot up instantly. I actually have Windows 7 Home Premium. Took me a while. You save the changes. And just like that, it's going to reboot. And it's going to load up with the Windows. From there on out, you should be all set. It should load the Windows up. You put the Windows key you had previously. Uh, I had the one in the back of the laptop, so it's all good to go. Alright, so it should boot up. Just press next. And on here, this is where the SSD should show up. Depending on what size it is, it should show up properly. And let Windows copy the files. And uh, pretty rough edit there. But it should boot up or reboot by itself. As you can see, the USB is no longer attached. Make sure it isn't attached when it reboots. And it's going to be fine because the Windows files have copied to the SSD. So if it reboots and it tries to install again, don't do it. Just restart it and make sure the USB is no longer attached once it's rebooted. Otherwise, it's not going to work properly. So. There you have it guys, if you have any more questions, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.